Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Java Tip of the Week. Today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite IDE, IntelliJ. I had some people coming to me and asking me how do I do certain actions that they've seen on my previous videos, so I thought it could be a good idea uh, to showcase them into a Java Tip of the Week video. So without further delay, let's move to the IDE and let's see what we can do. So here we are on IntelliJ. To make it easier for everyone to follow, I actually have a plugin that's going to display the shortcuts that I hit whenever I perform an action. So uh, we're going to start to learn how to navigate the IDE. I use command n a lot, and that allows me uh, to jump into a class. So if I type here the class name like a person and I hit enter, I, I go to person class. If I go person resource, I go to person resource, and so on. But this is only searching for classes. So if I want to search for a file, I have to hit Command Shift N. And then it will search for files. Um, but if you don't want to remember all of these, you can just hit Double Shift, and this will search everything. The reason why I end up uh, searching a lot with Command N and Command uh, Shift N is because on a large project, uh, search everywhere might be a little slow. Uh, but still, on small project, is fine. Other things that I use to navigate is command E, which displays the actual the recent files that I've been looking into, and command shift E, which displays only the files that I actually edited recently. So you have like a couple of options here how you can navigate, uh, going directly into files or just grabbing the files that you're actually been looking for. Now, when you are in a source file, there's also some ways that you can use to navigate that source file. So if you hit Command F12, that will jump you into a method list, and you can pick whatever method you want, and you can just jump into it. Also, if you type something, it will filter the methods, and it will be easier uh, to go into that. Uh, IntelliJ also has a built-in back and forward, uh, kind of like a browser. So for that particular case, you'll hit uh, Command Alt uh, Left uh, to go back. And here, see, I went back to where my cursor was before. And if I do the right arrow, I just go forward and I move to where I was before. So also very useful. Uh, I use a lot the Command W to select a by statement, so it's easier to select it by this and just trying to select it with the mouse. And as you can see, this selects kind of like with the context. So first the statement, then the full statement, then the, what's inside the brackets, then the if, uh, then everything that's on the if, then return, then brackets of the method, then the method itself. And if you add the shift here, it will do the opposite. This is very cool if you want to like copy pieces of code, you can do it pretty quickly like this. Um, just hit Command C to copy, of course. And what I want to show you is if you copy several pieces of uh, code, then you have um, a clipboard history that you can access with Command Shift V. So you can see everything that I copy, uh, and then you can pass it back. So picking whatever you want over there. And of course, the one, the last one that you copy is the one that's going to be on the when you hit Command V, but you can also go to the history and check whatever is there. Let's also write some code. So let me move to another method. And here I have a list uh, of type persons. And let me say that I want to iterate that list. You can do that very easily using templates. So template is something that you can call using Command J. And these templates are got, they just generate some uh, random piece of code for you. So there is one that allows you to actually iterate the elements of a list or an array. And you can do that uh, using the iter template. If you hit iter, it's going to generate the for statement plus the collection that you want to iterate and the variable where the result is going to be held for that iteration. Now if I want to put system outprint, I can also use another template hitting command J, typing system. And you can see here the templates that exist for system. So there is like an S out V which says print a value to system out. Just pick it up and it's going to generate the system out print line for you uh, automatically plus uh, the person variable as well. And you're done. 
There's also an easier way to do this, uh, which I enjoy the most. And this one is called the postfix completion. So instead of generating templates beforehand, you can do them later. So just uh, write a variable name, result list, and you, then you can say dot for, hit tab, and it's going to generate the same, the same statement. Now if you want to print them out, just say person, hit dot, and you say s out, hit tab, and then it's going to print the system out. So it's very useful to if you're uh, typing code like this. IntelliJ, of course, has uh, algo complete like every IDE. Uh, so if I do like a return statement over here and I hit command space, which is the auto complete, it will show me uh, a list of values that I can put in. But if I do command shift space, this is called the uh, smart auto complete, and this is going to filter only uh, the variables or other statements that can be actually used right here. So in this case, I can only, uh, since I'm returning a list of persons, then the result list is the only variable of list of persons that I have. That's the one that's showing me here. And of course, an empty list, but I, I'm not very interested into that. So I'm just going to return uh, the result list again. So we're almost out of time. There are plenty of other tips and commands that I can show you on IntelliJ. Maybe I can do that in a, a future video. But for now, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this one, and please leave a comment or a like if you really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm just going to leave you with one last uh, tip, which is the command shift A. This allows you to search any action or option. So if you don't remember, you can just say class, and this will show you uh, the command N shortcut over there. Or you can say template, it will say uh, light template, and if you hit it, it's going to do that on the code as well. So that was just one last thing. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.